Hey Lexi, thanks for sending us in your uh, question on related rates. I've written out a diagram here to kind of get you started. Um, basically here's second base, the runner's traveling to third base here, and here is home plate. They want the distance from, or the rate of the distance from home plate to where the runner is when the runner is 20 feet away from third base. So this is kind of tricky. I called this distance X because the runner started here and they're going this way. So X is getting bigger as the runner travels to third base. Now, um, so they're asking for at what rate is the player's distance S from home plate changing? So that's, we called it S here. So DS, DT is what they're looking for. When X equals 70. Now this is tricky because they say when they're 20 feet away from third base. Well, 20 feet away from third base means this X here is 70. Okay, um, which if you plugged in 70 here, you get 90 minus 70, so this would end up being 20. But then again, this is changing. This dynamic here is changing, so you can't just put 20 here because it's changing as the runner travels. This 90 here is not changing. It's always 90, so we can leave that as 90. Okay, so they're asking us for ds dt when x equals 70, and then they give us that dx dt, in other words, the, the runner here is traveling at 25 feet per second. Okay, so writing out an equation here to relate all this, uh, we use Pythagorean theorem using this triangle right here. So 90 minus x squared plus 90 squared equals s squared. Okay, and then we um, foil this thing out. So we'll get 8100 minus 180x plus x squared plus 8100 equals s squared. Okay. So now we derive. Now this guy is a constant, so it's not going to help us out. And then this is, you have to do the chain rule because we're deriving with respect to time. So I'll write a little thing here. We're deriving this with respect to time. So d, d dt. All right, and then the next thing is uh, we take the derivative of that as 2x dx dt. Derivative of 8100 is 0. And then we get 2s ds dt. Okay, so we actually have everything except um, S. So we got to find S. So now we're going to write this triangle, but now we're getting specific. We want to look at the specific case when, when uh, the runner is 20 feet away from the bag here. So we'll put it 20 here, and we're trying to find S. So if you use Pythagorean theorem, 20 squared plus 90 squared equals S squared. And I kind of solve that out, and you get 92.2. Okay. So now we're going to plug all this information in. We know dx dt is 25. So we plug that in here. Plus 2 times 70, because that's what x is, when the runner's 20 feet away from third base, times 25 equals 2 times. And now we know s, because we solved for it over here at that specific time when the runner is 20 feet away from the back. So we get 92.2 times ds, or yeah, times ds dt. Okay, and then if you solve it out, um, you get ds dt equals negative 5.42. I kind of did the math ahead of time, and that's in feet per second. Okay, and we got negative because it makes sense that as the runner travels from second to third, this distance here is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, because at first it started out up here. Um, and then, it, but as it gets, as the runner moves from second to third, S gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay, hope this makes sense. Uh, thanks for sending in your question, Lexi, and we look forward to answering your questions in the future. Have a good evening.